Welcome to my kitchen. My name is Geneva Shaw. I am a local tribal member enrolled in the Hoopa Valley Tribe, descend from Yurok and Karuk peoples, and I am welcoming you today into my kitchen for some fresh local fish tacos. So my good friend Jude came to me with some beautiful snapper fillets that his brother, Manuel Sear, caught and shared with him. So we're gonna turn it into some fish tacos and we're gonna do so in a version that is light, fresh. So I've got that set aside for now. I've just kind of let it like drain um, and then it's important to just kind of like towel it off so it's dry and that'll be important so the seasoning can really bind to it when it comes time to cook it. And it'll keep its form a little bit more instead of breaking down, it'll keep it in a more kind of whole piece of fish. All right, I started with doing some basic kind of prep work, breaking down of some of these beautiful vegetables from our Potawat garden, community garden. We are so blessed and so thankful to be able to have harvested fresh local vegetables right from our own healthcare clinic. So thank you to the hard workers at the garden for providing us with some of this bounty so that we can get creative today. I think one of the big things that I wanna kind of convey or show here today too is how to really just cook good fish with what you already have in your kitchen. So I didn't go out of my way and like get a bunch of like exotic ingredients or you know, not nothing too fancy. I really just wanna do something really simple that anybody can do in their kitchen with whatever it is that they have to work with. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a little kind of slaw salad that will go on top of our tacos. I like to do this first because once the fish gets cooking and going, that process happens really fast. But I also like to give kind of the slaw or the salad, whatever we wanna put on top of our taco, some time to kind of marinate in itself. So we'll throw in um, some different ingredients and kind of set it aside so that it can have a little time to marinate and kind of just mesh together. So I'm just gonna start by putting some of this in a bowl here without trying to drop too much of it on my floor. Good thing though, is I have six chickens outside, so whatever ends up on the floor, they'll get to take care of later. Just gonna put all of this, and you can really, like, whatever you have, you know, you can use lettuce, you can use cabbage, you can combine the two, you can use green onions, you can use red onions. I mean, this is kind of one of those things where I just will kind of clean out my fridge, so to speak, like whatever vegetables I have, um, I'll kind of put them together and there's really no wrong way to go. The other kind of different little thing that I like, um, I happen to have some fresh ears of corn in the fridge too. I actually love adding fresh corn to a variety of like summer dishes. So for example, I'll saute up like, you know, summer squash and some onions and different things as like a vegetable medley. And one of the things I love to do is just take the kernels off the corn and add it for a little sweet crunch and pop. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that in our veggie, fresh veggie medley today. But it's really just kind of a matter of taste. If you like that kind of crunchy texture and pop of raw corn, which again, I super love. All right. And I'm not even like really like ratioing this out. It's just putting it together again, kind of no really wrong way to go. Now I'm gonna make like a basic little kind of sauce. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Again, just like whatever I kind of already have around the house, a nice ripe avocado. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of lime juice here. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of seasonings. Um, I decided today, however, to go with one of my favorite um, local products. This is called Bird Dog Seasoning. It is made here in Humboldt County by a local fisherman hunter, Lars Cox. Um, this goes on everything, whether it be fish, meat, you know, breakfast potatoes, you name it. And this is what we're gonna use on the fish. So I'm gonna put a little bit kind of in our, um, in our sauce too. All right, I'm gonna smash this up a little bit. So I've got here just a little bit of smashed up, mixed up avocado, half of a lime roughly, a little bit of this bird dog seasoning. I'm also gonna go ahead and add the salsa right in here. So again, like instead of putting all these things on individually, 
we're gonna just do one scoop of goodness when it comes time to make and eat a taco. Also another local ingredient, Rita's Humble Green Salsa. One of my faves. Just gonna go ahead and dump some of this right on in there. If you don't do dairy or don't care for sour cream, you can totally omit this, but once mixed in, it kind of like, it's a lot more subtle too. Mix this all together. So we'll kind of mix it in slowly so we don't over sauce it. And a little bit kind of does go a longer way too, especially if you let it kind of sit and marinate. Whatever you have handy, you can do this with any fish. So season to your liking with your seasonings of choice. Again, I use a lot of Old Bay oftentimes or just the basic Kinders. My favorite fish spatula. I'm gonna use butter, um, but you can definitely use whatever fat you have on hand, olive oil, on relatively high heat. Okay, so I think we're about ready. We got our butter nice and melted and crackling. So I'm gonna do seasoning side down, that way I can season the top of it as well. Right in the pan we go. Get the old bird dog in there. Yes, sir. We'll know that it's like starting to be cooked when it becomes more translucent. It'll start extracting some of the like juices out of it. We'll show you what that kind of looks like. Um, but the thing about whitefish, you know, again, these are really like thin fillets, so you don't want to overcook it. It's really easy to do and it's kind of tempting to do when you're not quite sure when something is done all the way. This piece is a little bit thicker, so we'll have to cook it a little bit um, longer, but these will cook really quickly. One of the things that I love, you know, for those of you who love fishing and are fisher men and women, you know, it's a lot of work and it's really exhausting. And it's usually like a really long day. By the time you, you know, leave the house, go do your thing, clean all your fish, fillet it, it's a long, exhausting day. So I love at some point, like when my fisherman comes home, help break down, process, package, get everything in the deep freeze, all beautiful but also being able to take over, finish the process, and turn it into something beautiful and delicious. You can kind of see where it's like excreting some of this like, you know, some of the juice out of there. That's when you can tell we're getting close. Let's go ahead and get some of this plated up. You can kind of break it up too, especially depending on like the size of your fish. Obviously these are bigger chunks, so we'll kind of chunk them up a little bit into taco size. All right, and then we've got this nice slaw style salad. Just take a little top them off. Um, I put out some cheese as an option, you know. I have cheddar here, but if I would have been planning ahead, I would have totally went and got like some nice, you know, white cheese, whether it be a jack or a pepper jack or even like a um, cojita, like a Mexican cheese. Um, but otherwise, garnish to your liking and enjoy. Ready to eat? Let's do it.